Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to discuss example two for control flow graph. Welcome again, and uh, let's see the another example of this control uh, flow graph. So here, uh, this is the this is. Uh, production and i equal to 1 here and production is accumulating the value of ai multiplied by bj uh, and i is getting incremented i is assigned to 1 and 1 to 20 so now few things uh, let me tell you that ai and bj ai okay a and bj not i a and b are 1d array okay that is i think clear to you 1 1d array and second thing is lower bound of the first element is at index 1. Uh, size is another important parameter. The size is uh, 4 byte. This few things we have to keep in mind before we go and draw this control flow graph. All right. So now uh, let's uh, analyze our leaders here. So the first statement is a leader. And then uh, conditional branch and... Uh, this uh, unconditional branch instruction. So now here, uh, so this is a 12 and the it is going, taking the back control to this, uh, this part. So this is a leader, and this is another leader. And uh, any instruction, so this is the target of the branch instruction. Three is a leader because of, it's a target of branch instruction. And one is a leader because it is the first instruction. Uh, another case is there that instruction following the conditional and unconditional branch. So we don't have it. Okay. So now this part is your, let me call it as block number one, B1. And this part is your, will become now, okay. Till you get the next leader. Uh, okay. Sorry. So no. So this complete one, one and two is, will be your block one. And then the entire three to, uh, another leader only two leaders are there so entire 3 to 12 okay, this entire thing is your block 2 so we have only two blocks here b1 and this part will be b2 so now it will look like this that there is control flow graph for this will be have a we'll, we'll start with this uh, start node will be there and then control will flow to b1 okay and then control will flow to b2 now what about B2? B2 will have a loop, uh, will go back here in the go to 3. So there will be a loop to self loop, let's say go to B3. Go to B2 only. And then the control will finally reach to this, the last node that will call as a. Okay. So this is the control flow graph for it. And sometimes some, some question can be asked, which can be a numeric value so one question kind of question is number of nodes number of nodes and ages nodes and ages in control flow graph okay so that we can count here that one two three four nodes are there and one two three and there are four ages are there Okay, so that's all for this question. Thank you.